Now let us discuss about Grayback normal form. In short, we can call it as GNF. A context-free grammar productions are given. So now we have to convert this context-free grammar into the Grayback normal form. Here the first step is we have to simplify the grammar. Already this grammar is a simplified grammar. This grammar doesn't contains any useless symbols, any null or epsilon productions or this grammar doesn't contains uh, uh, unit productions also. And, uh, and what is the second step? The second step is we have to convert the grammar into the Chomsky normal form. Already this grammar is in Chomsky normal form only. And the third step is we need to replace the non-terminals by a1, a2, a3, etc. Here already those non-terminals are replaced by a1, a2, a3. So already the first three steps are over. Now let us see the next step. So we have to consider the production. What is the first production? a1 produces a2, a3. a2, a3. So here we, we know the rule. If the production is in the form ai produces az beta, then we have to compare i and j values. If i is less than j, then leave the production t now. Leave the production now. And, and after that, after finding az value, substitute az in a. Suppose if i is greater than j, then we have to do the substitution immediately right now. So immediately we have to substitute az value in i, in ai. If i is equal to j, then it specifies that we have left, re left recursion. So we need to eliminate the left recursion. Okay, we need to follow those three rules. So here what is i value? i value is 1, j value is 2. So what is the relation? i is less than j. So if i is less than j, then what we have to do? Leave the production now. Now leave the production and do the substitution later. Let us consider the next production. What is the next production? a2 produces a3, a1 or b. So here also what is i value? i value is 2 j value is 3, i value is 2, j value is 3. So i is less than j. So what we have to do? Leave the production now. Now leave the production and do the substitution later. Why? Because i is less than j. So for space constraints, uh, I am erasing this portion. Now let us consider the last production. What is the last production? a3 produces a1, a2, comma, a. So let us consider that production. So consider, consider a3 implies a1, a2 or a. So here i value is 3, j value is 1. So i is less than j or greater than j. So 3 is greater than 1. So i is greater than j. So what we have to do? We have to do the substitution. So substitute a1 value in a3. So substitute a1 value in a3. So here what is the production a3 implies what is a1 here a1 means a2 a3. So let us substitute a1 value here then we will get in place of a1 a2 a3 a2 a3 by we have one more uh, here in place of a1 we are substituting a2 a3 and after that we have a2. So let us write that a2 or additionally we have a. So let us write that a. So now what is i value i value is 3 j value is 2. So i is greater than j. So what we have to do? Now substitute substitute a2 value in a3. So substitute a2 value in a3. So a3 produces what is a2? There are two productions associated with a2. The first production is a3 a1. So in place of a2 if you substitute a3 a1 substitute a3 a1. So remaining non-terminals are a3 a2 a3, a2 or we have one more production. What is a2? b. So in place of a2, we need to substitute b. Then we will get in place of a2, b, remaining one a3, a2. a3, a2. So here, what is the production? In place of a2, we need to substitute a3, a1, a3, a1. Additionally, we have a3, a2. In place of a2, if we substitute b, then b, a3, a2. Additionally, here we have a. Additionally, we have a here. If we observe here, what is i value? 3. What is a value? 3. So that means i is equal to j. 
if i is equal to the j then we can say that the production has left recursion so now we need to eliminate the left recursion in order to eliminate the eliminate left recursion so let us write the formula for the left recursion if the production is in the form a produces a alpha by beta then replace a produces a alpha by beta by two productions the first production is a produces beta a dash the second production is a dash produces alpha a dash by epsilon so we need to follow these three rules so if we observe here so this is nothing but a so this is a so this is alpha and here we have two beta values so we can call this as beta 1 and we can call this as beta 2 then what is the formula a produces beta a dash so here what is a a means a3 a3 produces here we have two beta values so beta 1 a dash beta 2 a dash what is beta 1 b a3 a2 b a3 a2 b a3 a2 a dash so in place of a dash we can write here we have a so we can write b3 or x3 or z3 it is our choice so let us write z3 here so here z3 means a dash where a dash implies what is a dash z3 implies uh, here we have i am sorry we have one more beta value what is that beta value 2 what is what is beta 2 a so a a dash what is a dash z3 z3 so this is nothing but b a3 a2 is nothing but b a3 a2 is nothing but beta 1 value so beta a dash and beta 2 a dash beta 1 a dash beta 2 a dash where z3 implies alpha what is alpha a1 a3 a2 a1 a3 a2 a dash a dash means z3 so z3 by so here we have epsilon so let us write that epsilon now this production contains epsilon so now we have to eliminate we have to eliminate this epsilon eliminate z3 implies epsilon so to eliminate z3 implies epsilon what we have to do in place of z3 we need to substitute epsilon so let us write that now so a3 produces so let us write the first two productions as it is now we will get b a3 a2 z3 or a z3 so b a3 a2 z3 or a z3 in place of z3 if we substitute epsilon then we will get b a3 a2 into epsilon that is nothing but b a3 a2 or in place of z3 we need to substitute epsilon so now we will get a so now we will get a okay now let us substitute here also so z3 implies let us write the original production a1 a3 a2 z3 a1 a3 a2 z3 now in order to eliminate epsilon only we are doing the substitution so there is no need to write epsilon one more time now in place of z3 we need to substitute epsilon then we will get a1 a3 into epsilon that is nothing but a1 a3 a2 if we observe a3 productions a3 productions are in gnf form so what is gnf form gnf form means here the non terminal produces a single terminal followed by any number of non terminals so here uh, non terminal is producing a single terminal this a is nothing but terminal this alpha is nothing but any number of non terminals it may be zero non terminal or one non terminal or two non terminals any number of non terminals that is nothing but gnf form if you observe here here we have terminal followed by three non terminals here we have terminal followed by one non terminal here we have terminal followed by two non terminals here we have terminal followed by zero non terminals so the productions of a3 are already in gnf form so now what we have to do uh, we need to produce we need to convert a1 a2 z3 into the gnf form so if you see here if you see a2 here a2 produces a3 a1 or b so in in place of a3 we can substitute this a3 value then all the productions of a2 will be in gnf form and after that a1 produces a2 a3 so if we substitute a2 in a1 then all the productions of a1 will be in gnf form and after that here we have z3 equal to a1 implies so we need to substitute a1 productions here so likewise we have to follow in some order so now for space constraints i am erasing this portion so now we need to just do the substitution okay so there is no need of any logic now simply we have to do the substitution 
So now what we have to do? Now we have A3 value. So substitute, substitute A3 value, substitute A3 value in A2, in A2. So what is A2? A2 produces A3, A1 or B. A2 produces A3, A1 or B. So A2 produces, what is A3? A3 means 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have to substitute these four productions here. So A2 produces A3, A1. What is A3? B, A3, A2, Z3. So B, A3, A2, Z3. B, A3, A2, Z3. Additionally, here we have A1. So let us write that A1. Or what is A3? AZ3. In place of A3, substitute AZ3. So AZ3. Additionally, here we have A1. Or what is A3 here? B, A3, A2. So B, A3, A2. Additionally, we have A1. So let us write that A1. Or what is A3? A. So let us substitute here. Then we will get A, A1. Here additionally, we have B. So let us write that B here. So if we observe here, the productions of A2 are in GNF form. Why? Because here we have terminal followed by 4 non-terminals, terminal followed by 2 non-terminals, terminal followed by 3 non-terminal, terminal followed by 1 non-terminal, terminal followed by 0 non-terminals. So all the productions of A2 are in GNF form. So now what we have to do? Substitute, substitute A2 value in A1, A2 value in A1. So A1 produces A2, A3. So now A2 produces, uh, so now what we have to do? We need to substitute A2 value in A1. A1 produces, so what is A2 here? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we need to substitute these four productions here. So what is the first production? B, A3, A2, Z3, A1. B, A3, A2, Z3, A1. So let us substitute here. And additionally we have, additionally we have A3. Or what is the second production? A, Z3, A1. So let us substitute here. A, 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 Z3, A1. Additionally, here we have A3. A3. What is another production? B, A3, A2, A1. Here additionally we have A3. Or what is the next production? A, A1. And additionally we have A3. A3. Or what is the next one? B, B, A3. So if we observe here, all these productions are in GNF form. Terminal followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 non-terminals. Terminal followed by 3 non-terminals. Terminal followed by 4. Terminal followed by 2. Terminal followed by 1. So now, uh, now A3 productions are in GNF form. A1 productions are in GNF form. A2 productions are in GNF form. But Z3 productions are not in GNF form. So now we have to consider this production. Now here we have A1 value. So what we have to do? We need to substitute A1 here. So here for this production, uh, we need to substitute this production here this production here and after that we will get A3, A2, A3. Next we need to substitute this production here and then we will get A3, A2. Next we need to substitute this production here and then we will get A3, A2, A3. Next we need to substitute here then we will get A3, A2. This is a large production and then substitute here and after that A3, A2, Z3 and then substitute here. Next substitute here and then we will get A3, A2, Z3 and then substitute here uh, and then we will get A3, A2. Next to substitute here, then we will get this also. Substitute here, this, and then we will get also. So after, yeah, let us do that. Uh, so after converting the CFG into the GNF, the productions are, so first to note down A1 productions, and then note down A2 productions, and then write A3 productions. Finally write this Z3 final productions also. So this is about converting context-free grammar into the GNF, grayback normal form. Please uh, like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel as well as uh, share with your friends. Please guys, thanks for watching.